Hello again guys and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be comparing the £700 Expedition tent from Hilleberg with a £150 budget tent from Nature Hike. So I've been asked lots of questions on my videos about these two tents. And lots of people wondering how they compare. It's blatantly obvious that the Nature Hike is based on a design by Hilleberg which I think is either the Alak or the Stiker. Although I am making a comparison, the Hilleberg Solo is a one person tent and the Nature Hike Cloud Peak 2 is a two person tent. But what I really wanted to show you was the differences in the quality of the materials and how the tents are put together. So if these are the kind of videos that you like to watch, then please consider hitting the subscribe button and then hit the little bell notification and that way you won't miss out on any future videos. So both of these are described as four season tents. The Hilleberg Solo is a true four season tent where the fly comes right down to the ground. And when you see the inner tent later on, you'll see that it's also meant for four seasons. The Nature Hike, however, does have quite a large gap here. So I can't really say this is a true four person tent. A snow and sideways rain can actually get underneath here. So I'll start from the ground up. The stakes from the Cloud Peak 2 are like a mini groundhog and I've managed to bend a couple of those already and the stakes on the Hilleberg are made by DAC and they're more of a V design um, I think they're definitely overpriced for what they are though if you lose one of those it's going to cost you about £30 and you have to replace them in packs of 10 I'm not too keen on the stakes from either of these two tents so I tend to swap them out for a mix of MSR carbon core I've got some little titanium V pegs where the tents stake out in the corners are similar on both tents where they can't be adjustable. The Cloud Peak has a little bit of Dyneema cord but the Solo has a much stronger nylon tape. The pole fittings are very different also. I think this is 7001 grade aluminium poles. They just fit into these little eyelets on the Cloud Peak 2. And on the Solo the poles fit into a long sleeve with a greatly reinforced material here. The poles themselves are thicker on the Hilleberg Solo. These are 9mm DAC poles which are reinforced around the joint area and this makes them much stronger than standard style tent poles. Both tents have like an exoskeletal design. So the poles are on the outside of the fly and then there's a cover goes over the top. There are lots more clips on the Hilleberg Solo and each one of those is joined to a single piece of really tough material there so they're not going to come undone and when you get to the top of the tent you have to apply lots of pressure which gives the tent a really taut finish the clips on the nature hike slightly different they're only held on with this little bit of tape here and i think there's three on each pole up and then three hooks go over the poles which gives the tent its tension the guy lines on the nature hike i think it's about two mil dyneema and they have little line locks on here which do a great job actually the solo guys also have line locks these are much thicker and stronger but obviously that means they're a little bit heavier too the top cover in the nature hike is held on with the four bungees which hook through these little eyelets they're non-adjustable but they do add plenty of tension to the top which keeps the tent really taut the solo however has thick nylon tape which has adjustable straps on which again just hook into these little eyelets. The top cover on the Solo has a nice little channel so any water that drips down the top just runs out the side. So the fly sheet on the Solo is made of 1200 Curlon material which is a 30 denier ripstop nylon. It is triple silicon coated on either side which gives it a hydrostatic head of 5000 millimeters. So that's going to be plenty waterproof and the Cloud Peak 2 is made of a 20 denier silicone coated nylon and has a 4000 millimeter hydrostatic head. So there's not very much in it and either tent will keep you dry. However, the strength on the Hilleberg is far superior to that of the Nature Hike. If you go into any of the Hilleberg suppliers, something like George Fisher, you can get some rip test samples of the material that they make the tents with and I've tried and you just can't rip it. Whereas general purpose ripstop nylon, you can tear quite easily once it's damaged. So this means if you do accidentally puncture a hole in your tent, 
it's not going to rip. The guy lines from the nature hike is just a single guy on each corner and that's held on with this little tag probably about seven eighths of an inch. Whereas on the Hilleberg we have double guys. This one's got a really strong tape which wraps around the pole and that gives you extra stability. And as you can see, the first foot of the pole is actually encased into the shell. I'll take you for a look inside the tents. The first thing you notice about the Hilleberg is this really strong storm flap. And they use YKK zippers. With a really strong zip pull. I've got the optional footprint but the base of the solo itself is made of 70 denier ripstop nylon which is abrasive resistant and puncture repellent so you don't really need this actually and it's got a waterproof rating of 15,000 millimeters HH now with this being a two-person tent there's two entrances again there's a nice storm flap which is elasticated there's a little bit of velcro on there and the zips just have a little bit of cord along them again there's just little ties to hold the doors in place again this does come supplied with a footprint however it doesn't cover the vestibule area um, the base of this tent is 20 denier ripstop nylon so it's only about the third of the thickness of that of the Hilleberg. One thing I've noticed occasionally with this tent, if it is raining and you open the door, you do get drip that comes down on here and it does land on the mesh area, gets your inner a little bit damp. The inner tent on the Solo has got a DWR water repellent coating. So any moisture that does get on it will just run off. It's not waterproof, but it is water repellent. As you can see, this is solid material all the way up which makes it a true four season tent. But on the nature hike, you've got mesh from about halfway up. So in the winter months, you're not gonna be as warm in there. The Solo does have a zip inside, which means you can zip down the inner layer and then roll it up, which gives you a mesh front for when the weather gets a little bit warmer. So that gives you more breathability in maybe the summer months. But if you were to choose one of these tents just for summer only, you're probably better off for just the nature hike really. As the Hilleberg is really designed for withstanding some really tough weather conditions. So if you want to camp on Helvellyn in 50 mile an hour winds, this is the tent you want. I'm not going to compare the space and size because one's a one person and one's a two person. So it wouldn't really be fair. However, the nature hike has got loads of room inside and is easily big enough for two people and the gear. So if you wanted to buy a Hilleberg Solo, you can pick them up from, from most specialist camping shops. I've had mine a while now and I paid 550 for mine, but I've seen that the prices have gone up a huge amount recently. I think it's extortion if I'm honest, but I don't believe you will find a better one person tent anywhere. I would be confident in taking this tent anywhere in any conditions in the UK. I've used it in winds of 50 miles per hour and in snow, and I've had no problems with it whatsoever. The nature hike, however, is my go-to two-person tent. I use this on all my campsite trips now. There's plenty of room in here for me and the missus. It's really comfortable and I'm impressed with how it performs. I have used it up on the hill in winds of around 30 miles an hour, but to be honest, this is not as robust as a Hilleberg at all. This isn't the tent I would choose if I wanted to be camping in all four seasons up in the mountains. The Cloud Peak 2 is a perfect beginner's tent and it will probably be sufficient for 70% of the camps that I do. But this is definitely not the tent I would choose for camping on Ben Nevis and especially not in very high winds. I haven't spoken about the weight of the tents. However, the Solo weighs in at a minimum weight of two kilos, but this setup is about two and a half kilos. And for about the same weight, I think that's 2.6 kilos, you're getting a two-person tent with much more room inside. 
but that is purely down to the stronger construction of the Solo. It is much more rugged and durable. But if you're looking to buy the Nature Hike, that's a little bit more difficult. There's very few places to stock it in the UK. You can find them on AliExpress, but they may take about a month to come. Amazon did have a few, but it was in the purple color, which you might like, but that's not my cup of tea. But overall, these are two really good tents. So why is one 750 pounds and why is one 150 pounds? Simple fact is the Hilleberg is a far superior tent. It's the sort of tent that full on mountaineers use. They wouldn't dream of using something like this on their expeditions. However, for the everyday guy that just wants to start out wild camping and something like the nature hike would be a perfect choice. It's only about 120 to 150 pounds, depending where you look. And it's perfectly adequate for three seasons in the UK. But do check the weather forecast beforehand as I wouldn't recommend using it in really strong winds, as I've already said. So I hope you found this video useful and it's answered all your questions, asking how the nature hike compares to the, to the real thing at Hilleberg. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and I'll see you in another video.